Okay, tonight's challenge. Uh, today at Farm Boy, they had these gorgeous scorpions, and I bought four pods, the cutest four that I could find. I think this is probably about the most perfect scorpion pod that I've ever seen. It's just absolutely perfect. It has the, the three ripples, and, and so uh, four of about this size pods cost me 55 cents. So if that's a habit I can afford to have. So I was going to eat it just ka -chunk, but I really can't do the seeds. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, do a little bit of surgery here. And we'll have a look inside. Ooh. Oh, it's very crunchy. That's a good sign. It's fresh, super fresh, super hot. Okay, so there's the, uh, the innards. Wow, it's got a lot of placenta. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. Yep, that's a, that's a pretty uh, hot looking... Uh, Inside is there. Let's see if I can get it how close I can get it. That's very hard to yeah, find out. Okay, so I get the seeds out because I really don't like eating seeds. I don't mind the placenta, even though that's where all the heat is. I'm not. I don't have a problem with the heat. I have a problem with the crunchy damn seeds. I'm probably mumbling. I shouldn't mumble. Okay, I'm leaving in some seeds so they can leave in some of the placenta, but there is. There we go. Come on, eat it out of there. That's a big seed pot. Holy crap. Okay. Alright, so I took out most of the seed. Uh, there, left in as much of that placenta as I could, just scraping out the seeds. And so, as is the tradition, which we all expect those testicles and a scorpion, a beautiful scorpion pod. This is probably one of the prettiest ones I've seen. Most perfect. Good to talk about when stalling on not wanting to eat the, uh, the hot little bastard. Fire in the hole. Okay, down that. Oh, power wobble right off the bat. Oh. I'd have to say the flavor, tinge of bitter. I'm starting to get used to, I think, maybe the, the scorpion flavor. Seems a little floral, but not uh, not annoyingly so. Not that it's impossible to, to withstand. The size of that pot was just about perfect. I mean, the size of about a big fat cherry, you know? So it's not, you don't end up chewing and chewing and chewing and chewing and chewing and chewing. Even though I do that anyway, just to make sure it gets uh, properly pulverized before I send it down. And uh, that's that's got some some really really good heat. I can tell it's taken a little while, so I had got a bunch of flavor off the bat, like a, a little bitter, a little floral, a little sweet too. But now the heat's coming. Here comes the fresh pot heat. That's just going to be just. Uh, relentless, I think. Not as bad as a reaper, obviously, but I don't know. Scorpion, I think they can uh, sometimes can uh, really hold their own up against a reaper. I, I, don't, I speak with very limited experience so far, but this uh, this scorpion is hot for a grocery store scorpion. That's very, very, very hot. Oh, I got a lot of apple juice, and it's a good thing. Is this one's gonna hurt? It's getting me at the back of the throat, uh, the back of the roof of the mouth. Feeling it in my back. Oh, there's a tear forming already in my left eye. <coughs> That's 
the sign of a big bird. Ears are ringing already. Pepper burp starting already. Drinking not helping a bit. The heat is just blasting right through. <clears throat> it's on the back of my throat like a blowtorch right now. Ears are ringing loud as hell. Power wobble. That's a brew pod. Oh my. Tear coming right away. Drooling like crazy. <clears throat> Another power wobble. Another tear. Ears are sweating and ringing like the worst tinnitus I've ever heard. Hands are numb, absolutely numb. Fingers are wobbling, probably. This is as close to panic mode as I've ever been. I think I might say this is hotter than the <coughs> hotter than anything I've had. Maybe I'm just not remembering the Reaper well enough, but that tears dripping down my face here. Throat is on fire. <coughs> that is insanely hot. This is definitely the hottest part of eating. <sighs> Eat one like that, and it kind of makes you question. What the hell it is that you're doing anyway? <sighs> By Jesus, that's hot. That's definitely the hardest part I've eaten. New champion. Uh, store bought farm boy pod. Uh, ripe as hell, perfectly ripe. God damn it. What do we have? Nine? Almost ten minutes. <clears throat> My throat just walled it up. The burn in the back of my throat is just like nothing I've experienced.
that's a first for me. I've never had to blow my nose on camera ever. Um, make sure me. it's not hanging out. It just won't let up. On my uh, scale of 1 to 10, which I, I mostly forget to do on most of my videos, I sometimes remember, but <clears throat> this, I'd, I'd have to say this is at least a 9.5. This is as close to this is as close to uh, as hot as I could take, I think. are so different than sauces. More punishing, I think, than an extract sauce, even. <clears throat> well, there's some news today at the store when I, the first store before the second store when I got the pods. I wandered past the hot sauce. I actually had to get some uh, yeah, Elia Coteco, the yeah, triple extra hot uh, habanero. We're in love with that. We burned through a whole bottle already. Under our second bottle. And uh, had 357 for a, a bottle. That's a value king. <clears throat> Next to it, I see the Dave sauces, so I know I already got the Insanity, I already got the Scorpion that I bought in Quebec City with my kid. And I see the Ghost, and I think, well, let's try that. Well, I didn't realize, but when I got it home, I, I read the ingredients, and it's uh, first ingredient is uh, Ghost Pepper, Boot Chiloke, or no, Boot, uh, anyway, the actual name, and uh, Naga, you know. Second ingredient is uh, extra. So already know that it's a very different animal than a scorpion sauce. Scorpion sauce would just scorpion and vinegar and, and just almost nothing else. Some garlic and onion or something. But the uh, the ghost is uh, second ingredient extract. So I, I look it up quickly at uh, what's his name, uh, Roberts, uh, the, the dude with the Scoville page. That's the other. Authoritative. I don't know about that. Oh my god. Oh, my second one. <clears throat> and I might not make it without a third one. This is still just ridiculously hot. It's coming into my lips now. Um, so I, I tasted that sauce and then I looked it up and it was because uh, it's really, really hot and punishing. But it, it seemed like 357 on Again. And uh, I looked it up and it was. Uh, 650,000 so even hotter than my mad dog so which is astonishing so I'm still ha uh, have a really heavy burn going <sighs> it's all in my tongue now I get to the front of my or it got to the front of my mouth and my lips and the front of my tongue it's at least out of my throat now god it was like a blowtorch there for a few good minutes <clears throat> really bad it seems to be uh, uh, I guess working its way out now I'm going to have to go and, uh, well, it's out for 15 minutes now, anyway. Let it run to 16. Because I'm on the downside, for sure. I mean, I'm sure to have uh, brief uh, flare-ups when I get too uh, cocky, but it's mostly almost gone now. The endorphin rush is kicking in. 
This is the part of the video that I actually should take. The, the intense, ridiculous buzz that you get when your body finally fights back and does the endorphin dump because it thinks that your face is actually on fire. Not just pretending to be. 16 minutes. Please, if you uh, like my, my style, please subscribe to Fire in the Hole. I'm trying to get my subs up. It just doesn't seem to be working. It seems to be stuck at 45 perpetually, eternally. But who knows? That could change. Cheers.